Hello! Stream should be live now. And I'm going to shamelessly steal this music from Ludwig's playlist. If you're not familiar with Ludwig and you're already on here, well, first off, congratulations on being the first to arrive. Second, I want to congratulate you on knowing the incredible Twitch streamer that is Ludwig. And if you're not subscribed to him, you should go. So if you're not following, <laughs> I'm not even sub to him. Hey, Lieutenant Ninja. We're going to be talking about Review Starlight Relay today. He's showing up as uh, Sundays with Steven, right? Sunday evening. Oh, it's all good. You do you even play real life, Sam? Oh, as soon as I go live, they start feeding an S. Maker open. I need to log in to make a template. I should have checked that first. The music too loud. Can you hear me? Home alone with the baby. We'll see how this lasts. I just figured, you know what? I'll record the important parts. I'm actually planning on making videos out of this instead of just leaving it as the stream. Can you hear me now? Well, yeah, I'm sure because the music stopped, right? <laughs> you can hear me just fine now. Let's see, so, yeah, we know the template. I know the template just... I think we're gonna skip this song. Uh, wife of tier list is like, it's gonna have to wait. But, uh, this is gonna be... <laughs> No one's gonna be able to get any use out of this, but it's gonna be review Starlight Relive and my signature bar there. Mid row versus back row, ban tier list. And uh, I doubt it. There's no way. Yeah, is there an other? Online games, mobile games, mobile games, right there. Uh, description of the template. See title. Describe it for someone who wants to just. Because this is gonna be pretty restrictive. I'm honestly just using it just for myself. 
but uh, how to take down back row back row with uh, appropriate and hmm with correct and <laughs> critical banning skills. Okay, let's do uh, educated and critical banning skills. Mm. Critically educated banning skills. Critically minded. We'll go with critically minded banning skills. Let's we'll draw the skills. How to take down back with critically minded banning from the perspective of a mid row player circa October, November 2020. Because this is going to go extinct. Yeah, hurry if you've seen my other tier list. What is this? I think I'm good. I'm... My little <laughs> Let's see. Template cover photo? Oh, you're going to see all mine. Hmm. Does that show it? It doesn't. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Hmm. We could use the previous Sundays with Steven. Oh, I just looking through all these thumbnails, they are just so awesome. Totally, totally plagiarized from excellent artists. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this Shiori. I, I like this Shiori trying her hardest to win a PvP. Alright, so here's the important thing. Image credits, now I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I have that offhand. But we're gonna choose files by going to Carthuria, and we're gonna be selective, okay? Because I'm not about to download 275 backgrounds here. So we're gonna be very selective. I think I'll use the backgrounds. We're definitely gonna include, definitely gonna include Stage Girl Nana. Car 3, you need to load. Why aren't you loading? There we go. There we go. This tier list is here to help a mid row player versus back row. Next week, we're gonna do mid row versus mid row. I don't know. I won't commit to that just yet. But what's important is breaking it up into sets because not everyone's a mid row player. And when you're playing um, as back row, it's your bands are going to change depending on whether you're facing a back row player or a mid row player. But it's still going to be the same thing. It's still going to be based off of likelihood. And I think one correction, I'd like to really, really focus on corrections. Like, once you get out of the top two rows, your bands are going to run out because you just only, you only have two bands, right? Uh, so no need to even bring up the Castaway Girls. Little Prince, absolutely we need to get... We need to get after her. You're not, you're, you're, you don't think we should? That's too bad you don't play the game. Yeah, baby's fine. He, he, he screams when he's happy too. He's right over here. Let me just say hi, little guy.
He's fine. Hey Kevin, hope you help out with this tier list. This is gonna be it's gonna be insanely difficult. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I, I can go through it my own. Uh, Edward Teach is an important initial drums. I guess since we're thinking about back row, but yeah, we should still bring him. So Joe, Joe should be in here. Now these aren't necessarily going to be the most elite of the elite, but they're ones I've seen play. They're actually. Yeah, we'll include all the relevant mid row and back row girls. I, I need to download it anyway, so why not do it right now? No, oh, calling, calling a la carte relevant is still a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I have banned Odile before, so I might... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to download Odile. Just because that freeze is. I mean, freeze is freeze. So, how have you all been? I know I haven't done this as much recently. My dad's in town permanently so I'm always cooking for I'm cooking for more mouths today I'm not cooking I might get some fast food mom's gonna be bringing over microwave from my old place because our, our microwave is kind of dead on arrival it, it literally doesn't work and they're having so much trouble with the uh <laughs> They're having so much trouble with the microwave company to get it replaced that they just sent figured they sent an electrician out last Friday and the electrician showed up. It's like, yeah, definitely the microwave, not the outlet's working just fine. So we have leftovers and stuff in the fridge. We just just don't want to eat them. I mean, we could we could uh, obviously you could heat them up in alternative ways, but the microwave is so convenient. As much as I dislike microwaving food in general, you kind of, it is kind of necessary. Hey, it, you know, anyway, Stephen pro tip here. In order to keep your food moist, even while you're microwaving it, even while you're nuking it, take a bottle of water. You want to have it small enough that it doesn't interfere with the rotating, whatever that's called, the, uh, the dish, the rotating dish inside the microwave. You don't want the, obviously don't want that to be screwed up because that'll screw up the heating up process. But you fill it up with some water, and what it does is it kind of creates like an oven effect. Because the, what it will target, what the heat will target, it'll target the water as well. So instead of going after the water entirely in your food, which is you know how microwaves work, they vibrate the molecules to heat them up. It goes to you know a lot toward the water, which keeps your food relatively close to how it tasted when you first ate it, which in my opinion is the superior way. I know a lot of people who think that spaghetti tastes better the next day, pizza tastes better the next day. They're insane. But that's how, that's how you do it. So if I had my wish, I'd take some of my, uh, take some of my food, or chicken, there we have some chicken noodle soup there. It's this whole huge freaking uh, bowl of it that my mom made last time she was down. And, I haven't touched it. This thing's like three weeks old. I'm not adding all the initial girls, but you are uh, correct in bringing them up because I do believe I skipped. I do believe I skipped initial Karin, who does see play.
Wow. Honestly, it's not even worth the download, but. What the heck, why not? See, this is why I did it on stream, so you could catch me in this. Like, initial card does have a place in the meta. Do I need Discord open still? I don't. I might speed things up a bit. Imagine doing this 275, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 275 times. Wait, what is, how is this based, is this based off of release order? Has to be, right? This is perfect music for Dorothy. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm downloading characters that are seeing use in PvP right now. Because I have to download them one by one. But I'm not, I don't trust myself enough. I'm waiting for you to catch me on, on people I should be, down, uh, should be getting. Uh, you know. I mean, I guess. I don't know why, I should honestly be doing that. I should be doing that. I shouldn't. Yeah, let, let's go back. Let's go back and we're gonna open a new tab. Nine Gil? Yes, sir. Prokeon all the way down here. Released before the Little Mermaid. And before the uh, infamous Fiend. Goodness gracious, look at all this we would have had to download. Well, you still have to download. This is gonna be hard. I hope I hope you appreciate what we're gonna, what we're gonna try and do. So I'm not, you know, in chat, I'm not seeing enough of uh, you telling me how things are going. How's ping pong? How'd you like it? If we had time, and I mean, like, literally, if if, if we had time, uh, we'll watch uh, watch some ping pong. watching this or gets around to watching it eventually probably would skip over this part though and I just, honestly, wouldn't blame me dang Momotaro Momotaro was after Puck really? Did I just download that one? I sure did. <laughs> I like how they're called dresses. See that in the the URL right there. Dress. Just the uh, the shade thrown at fiends there. And puck with the capris. And 
then Lalafin with like the world's shortest skirt ever. Considering. I like the new setup, by the way. I kind of just threw it together. Uh, Hermes. I think it's just base Kira at this point, right? So, I did skip past base Kira. What's up, buddy? Are you hungry? Again? You gotta talk to me, okay? If you can't communicate, we're just done here. Sora, okay. Are we done? Are we close to done? Oh my gosh. Perseus maybe, but I just said I wouldn't. Scared I'm gonna miss a backer that I was released forever ago. It got use. Dang, we're far back. There's three stars here. Aladdin. Okay. So we got some cheeses, cheeses in there at the groups. All right, already ready to go, heck yeah. Jackal. A lot of Murphy do. Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. Monty. This is like this is probably what A team had the reaction when they were like a few months ago and they realized they hadn't released her. Oh, I turned off background. Duh. Okay.
This will actually be a path of discovery because uh, as you can see at the bottom left, I still have a very um, adventurous relationship with back row. That's the last four, right? All right, here we go. For that, I'm gonna help my child a little bit. He may need something.
I don't know if you could have told from what you saw. That kid had a pee stain up his side. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we gotta choose these files. Uh, maybe I should put them into a folder. PBP tier list folder. It's a good name. It's a good name. Good name, Steven. Alright, 37. We have 37 stage girls. Think how long that took. Uh, we got an SS tier for sure. S. And then a pretty big drop off. Um, we're going to call them, yeah, B, C, and F tier. You're either acceptable or you're just not good enough. Um, must be logged in to create a new template. I can log in with Twitter. Hoggers. What's that? Oh, you can't back up anymore! Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now you can back up. He hasn't figured out how quite how to move forward in his walker. He, he can only, uh... <laughs> he can only back up. Oh no, you saw my Twitter. You'll see all my tweets that I've tweeted. No, it did not. Why would it not tell you that? What is this garbage? Okay, can I hit submit? Why, why can't I hit submit? Add a URL. Has anyone ever done this before? You know what? I just realized I'm including a less important part of the chat box. I'm not sure why I did that. Yeah, his guild's coming. Momotaro and Milk Tea I reached out to me about joining his guild. Yo, I legit do not know what's going on. Why, why can't I do this? Is it because it's on edge? I legit... I don't... I don't understand. Edge should be using the same thing as Chrome though, it's Chromium. No, it's Firefox, I don't, I don't need your updates, I just need to... Sky ABXY. Dude, heck yeah, I'm liking this. Thank you. 
Well, it's a good thing I don't... Okay, okay. I legit did not remember my Twitter password because I never used Twitter. Chat so bored they're talking about Pokeballs. Uh, we are we are close, I promise you. Copying this over, seeing if it's possible at all. No, it legit was just because... It was legit because it was uh, in Edge, in Chromium. Alright, looks like the microwave is here. I will be right back with you. You're not gonna get to see the microwave itself. That sucks for you. How are we doing, chat? This is now a live, a live tier list you can use. And we will. We'll see how to do it now. How do we take down a back row player? 10 million subs. Okay. Close out of Firefox. Pause the music. Maybe for a second. Let's find a good song to start this out with.
Heck yeah, we can do this one. Oh wait, maybe this one. No, no, no. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Relay fans. This is Steven. We're here to bring you a somewhat relevant. Maybe we'll start recording this again. Who knows? But a mid row versus back row tier list for all you mid row players that are going extinct. How do you deal with the back row? And the back row players, are you stuck again? You're stuck again. We're gonna start this over. We're gonna start this over. Being home alone with the kid. This is what life is like. Okay, try try number two. Try number two. Hello, Relive fans. Hello, YouTube. This is Steven returning to you for a tier list of our own. And I say of our own for the mid-row players because back-row players are the devil and must be taken down, hence this tier list. And also because we, we kind of have a good idea of how to take on mid-row characters. Also joined featuring my son, Hunian, who's enjoying himself somewhat. He's trying to go around in circles and our room might not be large enough. But anyway, much ado about nothing is that. We're going to go ahead and get started off with everyone's favorite cheerleader. Cheerio, as I call her. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Yo, where is she? She was, she has to be in here. She's like the most important character. There, she's right there at the end. She's SS. Okay, so I don't know why I titled them like this. Maybe I ought to change it, but uh, it's definitely, there are no mush bands this time. Yeah, you got stuck again, I know. Hmm. One second. All right, if you're just gonna get stuck there, why, like, why, why am I, why am I doing this? What, what are you doing here? Alright, so to start off, we are going to go with our favorite cheerleader to deal with, and that is Sonoko. Now, Sonoko, let's zoom in a little bit here. Sonoko gives us a lot of problems. Uh, she's not a must ban, so uh, I'm going to rename this SS. It is um, 
highly likely. No, that's what Dio Chan was. She's a likely ban. Um, and the reason she's not necessarily always going to be a ban is because you might have the cleanse or you might have the bulk. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face there. You might have the cleanse to take care of her or some sort of disabling factor that you can be able to, to stall her out. But uh, all too often, we mid-row players, we're like, we could deal with Sona Cove. Like, we've done it before. And then they ban Jekyll and Momotaro, and we're like, oh, you weren't supposed to do that. And then we get our faces bashed in. And uh, it's not a pleasant time. Now, if you can deal enough damage to, uh, you know, out, I mean, kill her twice in the same turn, then uh, I mean, good for you. You probably don't need this tier list. But uh, for a lot of us, it, it, it may just be good practice just to get into the habit of banning Sonico. Uh... But let's look at chat. Let's take a look at chat. Do we think so? It says chat disconnected. Please wait while we try to reconnect you. Does that mean chat's dead? So, I mean, Alucard, the thing with Alucard is you might run against Monte Cristo, which just... Um, it's a lovely time for Alucard and Snow White and both of them. And really, your front three, too. So, can you hear him over my mic? Yeah. Uh, I think at lower levels, you can kind of afford to, because uh, there's just not so much... I really wish I could do this tier list, guys. I tried giving him some milk, and he wasn't too interested. So he's just, he's just being a loud baby right now. He might be peeping. He might be peeping. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll try one last thing. Why don't we continue on? I think the best way to do this is just to... Uh, I think Sonoko is the one that we just needed to talk about right away. But uh, the context in... The context you need to take Sonoko into account is... Well, what's around? So in this case, the, 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 the context is its back row. And honestly, she may be a highly likely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back on what I said. She is a highly likely ban uh, because if someone's purely back row, that's their only form of bulk. And uh, back row players already complain about being too, uh, how you say, dust in the wind. Um, and uh, making sure they are just that is our plan. That's our whole point, uh, her goal of making this tier list. So I would probably plan on banning Sonoko close to 100% of the time against a purely back row player. Uh, because you gotta outdeal them. You gotta outdeal damage. 
You just got to win that damage battle. And uh, Sonoko makes that damage battle twice, if not thrice, and four times as hard. Uh, initial Karn is decent, so she's a C, uh, but uh, she's really down there on the very unlikely. Um, I would say, yeah, we'll call them unlikely bands, uh, highly unlikely bands. Uh, there's just, I mean, you can think of a reason to ban her, and that would be, um, yeah, and this is do not ban. Okay. Highly unlikely ban because there's just no reason I can see, like, she's a decent damage dealer because uh, it was, uh, we were able to get her to unit skill 21 and six stars for free. I'm pointing out the six stars because my initial card is four stars. Oof. Oof. I'm trying to keep my cool right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not frustrated with him. I'm frustrated with the situation. Because I really want to do this tier list. I really want to stream, and I really want to give you guys a good time, and it's really hard right now. But uh, Karin does provide some brilliance. She is she can turn a back row team into a five back row ready to climax turn two team um, with uh, her gust of brilliance. Um, but that's pretty much her use. She is a guster, and unfortunately. The meta we live in is you really cannot afford to be banning gusters. You really cannot. So unless you can think of a really big brain play where taking out 15 brilliance to the entire team is just going to absolutely give you the advantage, it's really hard for me to recommend banning Karin. Um, our first do not ban, uh, if they carry uh, <laughs> Alucarin as a back row team, don't worry about it. She just she serves no purpose. Her mid bulk is useless, rel, you know, because it's, it's really selfish us at that point. And uh, I mean, <laughs> what do you want me to say about her kit? Okay, Sleeping Beauty is a likely ban. Um, this depends on your back row, though. Um, for me, I almost never ban her. Uh, and perhaps maybe for that reason, I am going to bump her down to unlikely because of her chance. She has a 50% chance to sleep the back three. And if for whatever reason they let through um, Honjo, Sa uh, Sachi Honjo, uh, that's only going to affect two of your girls. Um, her unit skill can be a problem, though where we're going, everyone's unit skill can be a problem. Her damage is, of course, tremendous. Um, and it's just a matter of can you afford to ban her? And uh, honestly, from my perspective, no, not really. Uh, with uh, more disabling uh, effects out there, I don't know. Let me let, uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna go another stage girl, then I'll, I'll look through chat, see what you think. We're gonna talk about Merm Hero. She is a highly unlikely. She is. Um, She's a girl that would be, I don't know, maybe if there's this place between likely, unlikely and highly unlikely. My wife's calling me now. Um, I'll call her back in just a second. Uh, that's where I would put, if, if there were a spot between unlikely and highly unlikely, that's where Merm Hero would go. Uh, the reason for that is she can absolutely just destroy you. Just through sheer complete and utter luck uh, because of her two APs. You know, sorry, you're not going to get to use Momotaro this turn. Sorry, you're not going to get to use any of your gusts and sleeps this turn. You know, uh, you know, for whatever your front three are doing, you know, she can really, really, really annoy the heck out of you with it. Um, but uh, her damage is... I mean, it's tremendous, but with back row, 
that doesn't really distinguish her at all. So uh, she's someone I would ban if I knew for a fact I'm just going to beat this back row team. And I just don't want to take any chances.
We'll see how long the piece lasts. I left them with a kind of chili bottle. But, uh, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's see, so. Oh, he's starting to go off. Same as Zoro, 3 AP cleanse. Yeah, okay. So, another do not ban is another mid bulk. Really doesn't serve too much of a huge purpose outside of um, outside of her inspiring brilliance. Now, I'm, I'm not saying you won't just get you know, take it up the butt against an inspired brilliance, uh, you know, like Little Prince or something, but maybe based on this tier list, you shouldn't let Little Prince through. But uh, it, it's hard to, to, to know what else she really brings to them, especially when in conjunction with Sonoko, she kind of defeats that purpose. I don't know what a back row player is really thinking when they're running her. Uh, so we just got a few... Uh, just do not bands here that are just mid row specific girls that you know for whatever reason I mean even Miku just don't don't worry about banning her Zeus is um, Zeus is an interesting one I have heard that and I'm saying I've heard okay I have maybe I should say read I have read that one of the keys to beating a back row player is banning Zeus. I have also had the experience and other people say you should not ban Zeus against a back row team. And the reasons for that are pretty clear. But the thing that Zeus does can't really be denied. She cleanses her own team and she deletes your team and any of your buffs. Okay, so if you have burn or poison or something that you would be intending to put on them or like a Momotaro act down after a Zeus, I mean, it might not be so great. So especially, you know, when the thing that back row players do is they pretty, pretty much almost always bring Zeus. Um, and that's in my experience your experience may differ but that gives some sign of her worth you know uh, she does provide a lot of value despite her squishiness and especially in a pairing with sonoko that can be deadly where she can go off twice but is she someone you are likely to ban in the current meta, I would probably put her, where would I put her? You know what? I'm so unsure we're gonna come back to it. Room Maya was a likely ban. Uh, confusion and Heavy Burn are just too obnoxious to commonly let through. Um, by the way, maybe we'll add percentages here. Highly likely that's going to be uh, greater than 90%. Maybe like, great, yeah, greater than 90%. Uh, likely is between, hmm, let's say 20 to 89%. Unlikely is 1 to 20. Like, <laughs> Like five, uh, we'll say five to twenty percent, but probably closer to one to twenty percent, and then highly unlikely is less than five percent. Less than one out of twenty games are you gonna be banning these girls when you see them? Uh, yeah, probably probably closer to uh, to three percent. We'll, we'll put this at at, at four, three three to twenty percent. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, so. She can be, you know, even though it's likely, she might just be a band that you do one out of every five games. Um, just because confusion is so difficult to deal with. Now, if you have Piper, awesome, good for you. I hope you enjoy not having any mid bulk or mid attack. But, I mean, I've been beaten by a Piper. I'm not going to look down on you. It's just, I mean, you're choosing that life. 
Now, life might not have necessarily chosen you. But, uh, yeah, confusion is kind of hard to deal with um, as a mid-row player. We don't really have too much of cleanse. Now, if you do have Snow White, which I don't, Groom becomes a little bit less of a problem, though I'm pretty sure Snow White can be confused, which is still a problem, right? She could still be affected by that confusion. Let me check chat real quick, though, and make sure I'm not high about this. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but Heracles is another do not ban. Jekyll. Now this is a pure back row team. So this is where, when we talk about pure back row, this would probably be two or fewer mid row. And uh, she's, I'm gonna put her at a highly unlikely. That's another guster that you might wanna get rid of. Um, Joe is another highly unlikely. No, let's sink. Where would we put Joe? Let me ask chat. What do you think, chat? Where should Joe go? Yeah, I've seen Joe being dropped from a lot of back row teams, or I've heard talk of it. We're going to put her right above initial Karin. Um, she uh, is more useful than Karin because of her automatic buffs, but she really doesn't really, she doesn't bring too much to the table that you're just quaking in your boots about. Um... I could actually see a scenario where you would ban Happy Nana, but I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. Uh, same thing for uh, Butai Shoujo Nana. By the way, the do not ban is not ordered in any way. Just don't ban these girls. Um, and Puck. Puck might actually... Is a, <laughs> I'm, I am reversing course. I would probably put her higher likelihood then Jekyll, she might even push her way into the unlikely territory where she just, her AP down just creates so much havoc. And, uh, you know, her aggro can be good enough that, you know, just eating one hit from a mid-row team, just one hit is enough to keep that team alive. And so it's kind of highly unlikely that you'll see a back row player bring Puck but I also would not look at you very strangely if you decided, nah, we're gonna like, nuke that puck right now. Um, yeah, it does, it does depend on the memoir. Um, so she definitely belongs in Highly Unlikely, but uh, she, she can create havoc and that cannot be denied. Otohime is another do not ban if she's in the mid row. I mean, she's in a back row team. She's way too far forward for, for her defenses. Momotaro. Momotaro is a highly unlikely. I would probably put above Jekyll, but below Puck. She's a useful girl just on her own, just because of her ability to cleanse. Would I think about banning her? Yeah, maybe for half a second. And maybe I would decide to ban her, but I wouldn't think too hard about it. Diaochan is a do not ban. If you see Diaochan and it's a back row team, okay. I know last tier list we said she's a must ban. She's not a must ban anymore. Not one bit. Even though in a mid row team, she's still pretty like, like if I were to go up against a, a mid row team, I would probably ban a high US DL Chan. I'm going to take my chances against the US 5 DL Chan these days. I'm going to uh, take my chances for sure against the US 21 DL Chan if they're a back row team. Like she's going to be super far forward. The, the heals aren't going to be that frustrating, and I will be able to reach her. You know, I'll be able to, to deal my stuns or whatever to her 
The real issue with D. Altron is when she would be behind Snow White or Puck or Momotaro, and they're just so bulked up that you can't ever reach her. And then she's able to heal up enough. But if she's so far forward, she's going to get damage from the turn one charging moves. She's going to take the damage from the climax. They're really not going to want to invest. If, they're, if This is a back row team you're talking about. They're not really going to want to invest three AP into a Blessed Rondo to heal her for whatever she would heal for, like 8K health each turn. Um, so the likelihood of getting into a 1v5 situation where she just beats you with her heals and her um, and her confusion are so unlikely that she's just a do not ban against a back row team. Again, this is a back row team where there are two mid row, two or fewer mid row girls. I would not, I would not do it. Uh, same for Houndry. She's a pain, but she'd be too far forward. Nightingale is. Uh, she's highly unlikely. She's higher. Than Joe. Nightingale has some use. And uh, you have to be aware of what she does, uh, especially if there's a girl up at the front. Do I have Houndruco? Oh my gosh, how did I forget Houndruco? I don't even remember seeing her. But I have Hound Rui. I don't have Hound Ruko. Oh my gosh. Well, I know there's a player. She has her own YouTube channel. She usually has Hound Ruko as her front. And, uh, you know, she gets the M Concerto freaking awesome. If she doesn't, whatever. She gets charged. But then she often brings her back to life with Nightingale, Invincible, and she, then she deals a crap ton of damage. Uh, Nightingale, like I said, has a place because back row is so quick to die that uh, being able to revive someone and allow them to climax again is very valuable. And you have to be aware of the kind of team you're facing and don't ever think, okay, well, Nightingale... That's a quick skip. She's highly unlikely, less than 3%, but she can get you, especially in a pairing with Sonoko, or as kind of like a, a replacement Sonoko, I should say. Um, I'm sure some of you have a nightmare story of going up against this player, but she definitely has a shot to take you down. Drumruru should be on the list. I downloaded her. What the freak? Okay, so we're just gonna have to like scribble on there, but um, don't ban Red Riding Hood. Dorothy is I'm gonna put her at un an unlikely tier. Um, the reason for that is she can be just a pain. Um, <laughs> she's a little bit more of a pain than Merm Hero, which pushes her into that higher tier, um, where you just don't want to deal with her. She has enough uh, options to take you down that, you know, if she has, you know, if, if you do find yourself with an open ban and there's a Dorothy, you might make your life easier by banning her. Snow White is probably less impressive than Jekyll because she lacks the gust of brilliance. But other than that, she's just a tank for the team. Um, likely ban is Little Prince and probably more likely than Groom. Uh, the reason for that is Invincible to the whole team is pretty darn good. And though she's, a, she's slow, I mean, she's not slow, slow. She's slow. On the slower end, isn't too rough to be buffed up with uh, a butterfly. Or she might be slow enough to let a Momotaro pass by. Especially if you let through Sonoko and Little Prince. You're not in for a very good time. 
uh, especially if you don't have a Momotaro. But even if you do have a Momotaro, uh, you're going to have to spend a turn going through the Invincible and then spend a turn trying to uh, get rid of Exit Evasion. Um, it is, she is a little bit more manageable without Snow White, uh, but just like Groom is more manageable without Momotaro, um, depending on which girl you have. If you have Maple and Momotaro, you might think you have a shot, but honestly, they could just as well ban them. So you gotta, uh, they're, they're pretty likely bans. I'm gonna pause here, my son is having trouble again.
All right. Uh, sorry about all that. How are we doing on the number of people watching right now? Probably terrible. We have 20 people watching, though. All right. Well, Leticia Rosas and Introverted Diaz, thank you for coming back. We have so many people. Why, why are you still typing an F? Why are you still typing an F? Man, I can't see anything. So, Lala, uh, Lalupan, okay. She is going to go into the unlikely tier. Probably a bit higher than Sleeping Beauty because uh, she has combo potential. Not everyone has her. She's not readily available like most of the uh, back row girls. The little Prince Musora notwithstanding, but she came with back row is already a pretty big thing. Not many people pulled for Lalapan. I personally did and didn't get her and uh, still have a heartbroken about it today. But again, this is she, she is a huge combo girl. Uh, you cannot let her combo on you. If you see the combo, you need to ban her. That's why she's un unlikely. She's kind of erring toward... Um, heck, you know what? Based off of this, I would probably put her in the likely tier. Uh, because you won't see her very often, and when you do see her, there's a pretty good chance you'll want to ban her. Uh, probably not higher than Groom, but then again, maybe you want to ban her so that she doesn't combo off of Groom or anything else. But uh, she can do massive amounts of damage. She has the right unit skill. And uh, depending on how you're feeling about your own defenses and your own, uh, you know, ice isn't the best typing to be in right now, but she might not give you the chance to attack back. So she's going in likely. Another do not ban who might show up in a later mid-row video is Pirate Tsukasa. You'll learn why she might be a problem. Um, no, I don't think so. She is a back row girl. Uh, but uh, she... It's her pairing with Susanoo that kind of creates some havoc, but that, I mean, that combo is so much less scary compared to what we're seeing these days that even though she's a cheese pick, that cheese pick isn't even good enough, in my opinion, to, to, to deal with. Uh, another highly unlikely is uh, Sachi Honjo. I would probably put her above Jekyll because of the amounts of... Uh, buff she can provide the back row um, and uh, just create general havoc with her own climax. Um, should you ban her? I mean it depends on the setup, right? This is where we're talking about two back row girl, uh, two mid row girls and eight back row girls and you know for those of you who are going to be running up against a lot of back row teams they're probably pretty strong in the back row uh, they're probably the type of girls you want to get rid of. Obviously, she's a huge ban target in a mid-row team, but in a back-row team, she has some uses, but probably not quite to the extent where I would justify banning her very often um, before any other back-row girls. Monte Cristo. I don't know. Let's see. Monte Cristo. Well, what Monty does is pretty nice. She provides a one-time taunt off the bat, which kind of screws with the girls that I was talking that we we were talking about earlier with Alucarin or not Alucarin, but yeah, Alucarin is affected by it. But we don't really give a crap, right? She's trash. Alucard, um, Snow White, both the Snow Whites. She affects opposing Sonokos. Uh, any uh, she she yeah sleeping beauties hate her um, you just the taunt in this meta is pretty good but is she like a really good ban I would probably err on the side of putting her in highly unlikely tier in front of Jekyll. I would probably ban Sachi before her because of the buffs. I, you know, if someone has Sachi in their team, I'm probably anticipating they're going to run her. I just can't afford a ban. But Monty, 
they might choose not to run her. You can have a different back row girl at the front. There's no problem with that. You know, you could be running Nightingale. You could be running Sonoko, you know, to the point where, hey, you know, I know you're going to kill me, but can you kill me four times? And the answer is typically going to be no. And so Monty is, um, Monty is, is someone who has a use, and she's at that point where that use is just something we just have to live with for the most part. Um, Venus is a do not ban. Odile is another do not ban. I mean, I can, we'll stick her up here just in case. No, no, we won't. We won't. Base Kita is a tank, do not ban. Ice Shiru, do not ban. Fan Shiru. If you're feeling like she could really just screw things up, yeah, you could ban her. Maple is... Shoot. I, I honestly don't know. Unlikely or likely? She is definitely not a highly unlikely. And she might even be in there for bait. But just having to deal with the sleep and the cleanse, it's just a nightmare. You just don't... We're already talking about Zeus's ability to, to cleanse. And my goodness, is it obnoxious? We'll probably put her in unlikely tier um, ahead of Dorothy. Maybe ahead of Sleeping Beauty, honestly. She's just... Oh, she's awful. Um, Pollux is kind of the same, uh, but uh, definitely toward the lower end. Maybe in highly unlikely tier. Uh, but she's... Yeah, Pollux is probably in the highly unlikely tier because she's a mid-row girl that can probably get deleted pretty quickly and doesn't provide... Um, very good utility um, with uh, invincible and exit evasion out there. She probably falls pretty hard, honestly. My first reaction was, yeah, she's kind of a pain to deal with, but where is that line? Probably ahead of initial Karin. Probably right behind Nightingale. Um, where would I put, and then Alucard is probably a, is a do not ban. She doesn't, she's not that terrifying. Uh, well, yeah, against other back row teams. Zeus, we are going to put in the, let's make this nice looking though, right? Let's make this a little nicer looking. No, nah. Zeus is in that unlikely tier. Probably above Maple because of the same type of thing. Um, but uh, look, I mean, if they only have one of these four girls, I would easily pick Zeus. Um, if Even if they had Drumadru. Drumadru is probably more of a likely ban. She's probably missing right here where my cursor is. And because of her cleanse, her damage is, is trash, but her unit skill is pretty good. Um, who else was I missing, though? I was missing Houndrico. Houndrico's uh, an unlikely ban because of the cheese that she can provide. So that's my tier list. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We see the chat off to the side. They might be flipping out. But this is how I look at the back row team there. It's pretty, it's not too top heavy. It is pretty egalitarian. Um, it is yeoman's work they're all doing. They just all put in the effort and just more and more of them keep coming out and it's really, really rough to deal with. But uh, as always, good luck in your reviews. Good luck in your polls. I will see you later. That was not recording. <sighs> How is it not recording? Can I get F's in the chat?
I'll just have to do it again. I'll just do it again. Not right now, but I'll just, I'll just have to do it again. Bro. Bro. I feel my heart crack. I just laugh at it. It's trash. Well, it just has the top three. Why does it just have the top three? I guess I mean that's like a little bit more concise, right? But. Can I can I alter my templates? Oh, pog. Pog, so I can add additional images. Okay, so that'll be awesome. So I can add drum drew and I can add um, Houndrico. So maybe a little bit of blessing in disguise. But uh, yeah, let's let's change this to highly likely, likely. Unlikely, highly unlikely, do not ban, um, and that's greater than 90%, 20 to 90%, 3 to 20%, and less than 3%. Okay. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, well, next up, my, my computer's still not charged, so I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit sketched out on this. I am not entirely sure that uh, this is going to work um, very well, but we're going to try, we're going to try to do some PvP, and you'll be able to just enjoy seeing me struggle. At least I think so. You should enjoy seeing me struggle, but... My team this season is not very good. Let me go grab my phone. I don't even know where it is. There's some names in this Milk Momotaro Milk Tea Guild. It's got uh, my buddy Gamester who has a YouTube channel. It's got Volt. I don't know who Noel Wolf is, but I know Alaral. I know Project PH. I know Lugo. I don't know. I don't. I don't get this whole guild thing. I don't ever look forward to. Uh... Oh, you need ten. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's counting me already. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, anyone know what the guild thing's about? How that works? Is it just based off of PvP performance? Yo, it got crazy cold here in Utah recently. Snowing in Salt Lake. I mean, maybe it's not crazy cold, but like, it's cold. Down here in St. George, which is... We went from 70 to a, a high of 50 overnight. Which, I mean... I had to run over to my dad's to uh, suddenly grab a jacket because I had not had, you know, I just hadn't considered packing jackets or sweaters or anything uh, for the trip. Um, okay, so 
it was really yeah it I had I was a little bit late to, to work because yeah I really needed something to wear because it was it was in the 30s this morning so high of 51 right so yeah, I'm already feeling some lag, man. We'll see how we do. Hello, Relive fans. Welcome back for some more Relive action. This is special performance, Sigfield Institute only. And my goodness, am I getting my trash given? I don't know. What, what would you even say? It's just... I'm getting my trash packed in right now. I suck. Like, I'm happy for this 101 points. Like, I should be at 1100, man. Every every person I beat, I'm sorry, Volt, you're trash. Uh, I'm not gonna call out the other person because I don't know them. But uh, like, I think like the number 16 person at the time I beat them, they're trash. Uh, there's really no reason to lose to this team. It's just an awful team I've got right now. This is the setup. Here at the front, we've got Hermes. Hermes is probably like my best stage girl uh, for the season. Uh, she, her, her auto taunt, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It takes care of uh, the Sonicos that I can't ban anymore. It takes care of Alucard. It takes care of freaking uh, Snow White targets her at the agility. I don't know. Her, her climax is now. But, and I, you know, honestly, I don't know why I try and climax with her. Screw climaxing with her. We're going to change this, change this memoir. She's going to have fortitude. Um, and then we have my mid row. So pretty, pretty buff mid row, like in terms of damage. And then... I've got two other spots. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a US1 Lubu. US6 Lubu. So, act power up 15%. Unit skill 11 Doc Kira. So, she kind of has some bulk to her. But, uh, yeah. My, my song's pretty cool. It does give... Moon stage girl damage dealt up 7% and dexterity 5%. So, you know, for being limited just to Siegfeld, it's not bad. Um, but uh, we'll see if we find anyone that we can beat. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking forward to an 0-4 session, but I'm also not, not anticipating it, if you know what I mean. And since we are... Oh, I didn't hit start recording. Why did it stop? Bruh. Hello, Relive fans. Welcome back for some re more Relive action. I realized I didn't hit the start recording button. So here we are in the middle of a match. My team's trash. I'm probably going to win this game because their team is complete Yachi trash. But uh, yeah, being snow at the front, both the Yachi tanks kind of packed kind of give me super huge problems. Uh, we'll just charge a little bit here. Not even trying? What the heck? Why don't you go for it? You put together the Yachi team, right? Thank you for joining me for some compelling relive action. So anyway, since you you all missed this, this is my team. I have at the front probably the best tank for this, and yes, I said tank, for this special performance, it is Hermes. She is, I believe, in the top three teams. She does kick some serious butt with her auto taunt. Alucard, gone. Snow White, gone. Sonoko, still a piece of crap, but not as bad. Okay, uh, Alucard and Fanchiru, they both buff each other, so they, you know, they deal a lot of damage, but they don't have any bulk, which is kind of a problem, uh, especially considering Alucard is a pretty good special defense girl 
in a special performance where all the good girls deal normal damage. So it's kind of a problem. But uh, Fanchu also gives her stop. I do have the agility on her. That's nice. And then I have these two back row girls who take up spots. Lubu is kind of nice. Like I thought about putting perfect aim. She didn't charge fast enough. The thing about this team, what I need to do is I need to I need to climax fast and I need to climax hard, and uh, hope hope they don't hit back because if they start hitting back, I lose. That's how I lost to Volt the second time. Um, he literally had a level seventy Cupid and an Alucard, and I just could not do anything because uh, it's just a coincidence that the top five Siegfeld stage girls that I have four of them are Moon, and so I just couldn't get past Taunt. I wasn't dealing any damage because it was counter healed. And then they just put up a special barrier and then sleep me to death. And I ended up, I, I, it, it was at 1.5 V2 and I lost 1 V2. I just couldn't deal anything. But uh, yeah, so cool. If we can get more feats, that'd be cool. We got a Snow White. Don't worry. Never fear. I can still lose this. Start off with a hoo before I just completely exit. Uh, these two are both pointless, honestly, at this moment. So we'll just, uh, we'll just charge. Yeah. Just waiting for, for what they're gonna do. Strong thrust miss. Oh, they brought Kung Fu Meifan? Nice. Well, you know what? Since Kung Fu Meifan's about to just land to Hermes, you know what? We might as well just charge, right? Like, what's the problem with getting charged? I don't see one. Do you see one? They probably have... Okay, well, they just used their Nightmare Thrust. They did stop that Climax, but I also didn't give a crap about that Climax, so... You know, it, it, it's kind of fine. Oh boy, my computer's doing such a, having such an easy time with this. Dude, the taunt? That's a kind of a cool taunt, man. Let's do it. Bummer. Fancher does get to recuperate some damage though. Yeah, bummer. Maple's just such a... Maple just screws everything up. I do get damage received down, but I don't think it's going to be enough here. She survived though. Poggers. So she allows me to do this. So we're gonna hit him with this, uh, and then dodge because I know that's Pollux is coming. Oh, I hope she survives. She didn't even put the poison on, bruh. Dang. Yeah, I lose this game.
And because we're streaming, we can keep going. So I'm just gonna surrender like uh, like a wuss, and I'm gonna play again. Um, looking back, was there something better I could have done? Yeah, I probably could have used Lubu. Lubu earlier probably would have done it. I got greedy with that taunt. But honestly, like, I don't want to throw Lu Bu at a freaking per Why would I do that? All right, Bana Nice. Oh, I didn't get to Hu Ya because my phone was lagging. Oh no. Alright, cool. Well, we won. We won. It doesn't matter that my two wins both came. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't matter that my two wins came from feeders. I'm still two and one. I'm, I'm, I'm goaded. <laughs> Top star, here I come. So I've heard people getting fed to freaking SSS. I want to meet these people. I want to meet these people. See, freaking Perseus and Pollux can go fly a kite. Like, that is cancer. Nice, you didn't charge. Dang it. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just eat it. Oh, they just wow. Okay. Dang! Missed on all of them. I mean, if they want to wait out for their own... You're going to wait out your own debuffs. Why, why do that? I don't know what the heck they're thinking. Stop her. Stop Pollux. Didn't happen. See? Yeah, that special barrier sure did a lot, huh? Hope she survives, I guess.
Yeah, dude, I just... This team's trash. They made it easier on me and I still couldn't do anything. How's Pipe... And they, they're, they're not even leveled. They're not even leveled. You understand that? Piper is their banner girl. So they're not even leveled. I can't do trash. I can't, I can't, I can't do jack about it. I made the mistake of trying to wait. What I should have done is I should have just attacked right away. Like I said I should. I can't, I can't wait. Wow, they got a trash opening hand. Still taunted. We're gonna leave with Lu Bu. I wish I could wait with Alucard, but I want the poison. Purifying thrust, okay. Uh, I know I'm not gonna outspeed Mavon, so we'll just go for damage here. Oh, I screwed up. Whatever, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Does keyboard to mount? I don't know. I've seen her use, but I haven't seen her tilting and her, uh, it's hard to understand exactly what she's communicating. So how she fits into the meta is unclear at this time. Did I pop Fortitude? I hope I pop fortitude at least. <sighs> yeah, this is the part where they hit back and I really have nothing to, to do. It's not going to do anything. Dude, Mayfine freaking triggers me. But the actually the anti taunt here is so funny. It uh, actually allows me to do this. <laughs> yeah, 
Yo, poggers. Beautiful. Beautiful. We are victorious. We beat an 1100 player by pretty close to the skin of our teeth. Pretty close to the skin of our teeth. Where am I ranked right now? See, this this is the hilarious thing. Is what am I ranked? I bet I'm in like the top 200. There are like 3,000 people who were in SSS. I don't know. There are a lot of SSS players. And uh, I'm kind of the upper crust here with this piece of crap team. We'll go we'll go for another. We're three and we're three and two. Sure we're one and two against like actual players, but like that's still winning. A win is a win is a win. You can't tell me anything different. The biggest dub I could do though right now would be uh to uh for my computer to catch up to what, what's happening. Instead of lagging all the freaking time. Cupid. Cupid alert. Pretty pog actually. Would have been better if it missed, but okay. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, they didn't climax? Oh my gosh. They probably slept, Lulu. But that's really dumb. Because they couldn't do that. I might actually be able to do enough damage here. Oh my gosh. This is the kind of game I win. Yeah, they have to take this chance. Then Lubu follows this up. Oh, what? She lived? Oh, that's so bogus. That is bogus. Oh, resilience is so stupid. If they actually use Pollux, they don't use Pollux. You just gotta go for it. Is that enough? This is so stupid. It must be pretty bulky. That gives me invasion, right? I will do it.
This game would be totally different if we had gotten if we had gotten Shirio. Yeah, they had a lot of act power. How'd she even die? How did Pollux die? Well, my Alucard knocked her out, basically. Like, it, it was Lu Bu that didn't do the job. Lu Bu had the damage up. Couldn't seal the deal. You could take out Shiori just fine. Oh, this team is cancer. See if Perseus can catch up. No. So we could stop Percy still. Nope. So Alucard's about to seppuku herself off 40% damage reflected. And also deal zero damage back. Like, virtually zero damage. Yeah. That was a loss. That was a big fat L. They deserved SSS. That cancer team. That was a stall. That was a turn 10 win team. Oh, this team again. can't deal, but maybe I can do a little bit better. Let's 
私にお任せを狙い通りね抵抗など無意味だいや狙い通りね避けられませんよ誰にも分かさん避けられませんよAlright, I gotta go. Damage is contained for the moment. Yeah, resilience into exit evasion, okay. Oh, bro, this is gonna hurt. Because they're doing. Yeah, good game. They got SSS too. Good job for them. Where are we at? Are we still in 1200? Yeah, we're, we're behind where we started. Alright, a feeder. So we can go plus 10 on the day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Plus 10. That's how I like it. <sighs> and I get my four chests. It doesn't, but it prevents fortitude from being popped. I'm a streamer. I don't get to choose when I when I play. Come on, let's be real here. So this is. Steven, signing off. As always, good luck in your reviews, good luck in your polls. We'll have a tier list out later, or it's already been released. We'll see, depending on my video editing speed and uh, desire to post videos. Who knows, who knows? Uh, I don't think we have time for ping pong tonight, so we're not gonna do it. So thank you so all for joining this stream. It's been, I wish I could have said it's been fun. The tier list was fun, but this season is absolutely awful. Um, but uh, this is Steven and I'll be seeing you all later.